Guys, you know what I love as much as cars? Coffee. I drink a ton of it every day. And I'd like to talk to you about Beeline Coffee. I have been working with these guys to produce perfectly delicious small batch roasts. Now this isn't some off the rack stuff. This is really properly first rate coffee. I've been drinking a lot of it. I've been working with them to develop the flavors and it is delicious. And I really want you to try some as well. So hit the link in the description and check out some of these roasts. And if you wanna buy some, code TST at checkout gets you 10% off your first order and free shipping. Let us know what you think. We're gonna keep working on the blends and thanks for watching our videos. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Angeles Forest. Beautiful day for a drive and a very unique opportunity for me to drive literally the only Callaway Aero Wagon. Uh, this is a C7 Corvette Z06 that has been modified by Callaway Cars, a long time uh, Corvette tuner going all the way back to the C4, and it features two of their packages in one. So it features the Aero Wagon package, which is a shooting brake conversion for your Corvette that replaces the entire rear hatch with a shooting brake hatch. Uh, that costs 15,000 bucks painted and installed, and it really transforms the look of the Corvette. It makes it look bread vanny. It's uh, it's a truly a car nerd's package. Uh, it is, uh, is there any real value in it? Does it offer any really more useful space? Maybe if you uh, are in the habit of stacking things all the way up to the ceiling and blocking your rear view, sure, it might have a little more volume. Really though, it just makes your Corvette look cool and, uh, and different. Uh, it also has the Callaway 757 package, which like it sounds is a uh, is a package that gives you 750 horsepower and 777 pound-feet of torque. And that is California carb legal, and that is warrantied uh, in the same way dining cars are warrantied with BMW. There's a factory warranty and then a supplemental warranty. Same kind of deal with the Callaway Vets. Um, this car, Callaway says, will do zero to 60 in 2.8 and run the quarter mile at uh, 10.5 at 131, and that's on street tires. So in my opinion, you put slicks on this thing and it's a nine second car. Um, I, I, just just wait, uh, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna see something pretty impressive here. We're gonna hit the road. and the fact that this car happens to be an automatic. Uh, the Z06, the new one, is extraordinarily fast. Uh, most people who drive a new Z06, that will be the fastest car they've ever driven, and that would be the fastest car you could ever even contemplate needing. The Z06 will do rolling burnouts on its own if you turn off traction control. This adds 100 horsepower and 120 pound-feet of torque. Uh, actually, it's 100 and seven horsepower and 127 pound-feet of torque and that is a new it's a replacement supercharger intercooled replacement supercharger with an exhaust obviously an ECU tune and, uh, you also get some little trim items and things like that uh, it has a very factory feel uh, in terms of you could daily this car every day uh, and it there's nothing about it that would take away from the uh, daily usability with the supercharger package. It's, it's truly seamless and if you ignore the Callaway loud ass exhaust like I have on this car, um, it's actually quite refined as well. There's, there's very little um, additional supercharger whine and uh, overall it's as refined as you could ever expect a 750 horsepower car to be. Uh, but watch this third gear pull. Okay, let me tell you something. This car is one of the scariest cars I've ever driven. Uh, it has so much power that you could hypothetically be entering corners with 40 or 50 miles an hour too much speed. 
Uh, it, it, it is insanely fast. The standard Z06 power band feel remains linear, uh, but at the top, I mean, there's like, there's practically not enough road for this car. This is like a runway car, and if this thing ran under 170 on the runway, I would be shocked. Okay, so you, it, it, it cuts power a little bit with uh, traction control on, so I've just turned traction control off. I've left stability control on because we're not toguing and I don't want to die. The way this thing gets through third gear, third gear is just, it's just over. It's just, you hit the, and then it's just over. It's crazy. And I was off the highway yesterday in this car in a road course area and the way that this thing pulls from 90 to 150 practically made me crap my pants it was like three seconds oh the thrust the violence violent it is violent if you're not a professional racing driver and i don't i, I this is an excellent package it, it does what is advertised if you're not a professional and i don't mean You've done some track days. I mean professional driver. You don't want this because you're going to die. It will... This car's way faster than most humans can process the act of driving. I mean, I've said that about 488s and the McLarens. This is... It's that, but... Fortunately, giant carbon ceramic brakes. Squirrel! Squirrel lived! Squirrel lived! See? Great brake test. I had that squirrel run out to demonstrate the braking ability and I did it successfully. I don't want to harp on it because it has nothing to do with Callaway's package, but let's talk about the automatic gearbox in the Z06. It is a piece of crap. And so, GM will tell you that it shifts past, faster than PDK. <laughs> and that is true, but it is only selectively true. Meaning, straight line full throttle at red line. You hear that? Quick. That was a quick shift, okay? Now I'll do a shift at 3,500 RPM. Upshift. Now I'll slow down. And I'll do a shift even, oh, there goes my water. And I'll do one at even lower. So just driving around town speeds, okay? Here's 3,000. It sounds like Princess Leia choking Jabba the Hutt. And now to say that that is faster than PDK is like me saying, I'm gonna go to this party wearing a pair of $1,000 Bruno Mali shoes and neglecting to mention that that would be the only thing I'm wearing to the party. True, but misleading. Our government is excellent at this, by the way. So is apparently Government Motors. Now, the Aero Wagon package, the fit and finish is really good. Uh, if, if not quite factory, it's, it's very close. The rear windows are heated. Are uh, defrosted, which is good. I do not have pricing as of right now for the horsepower kit. Hopefully, by the time this video goes up, if it's flashing on the screen right now, we got it. But let me just tell you something: that this car is stratospherically fast. It's Saturn V rocket fast. Runway racer only fast. Like there's just not enough room. Second of full throttle requires a proportional second of full brakes. Oh, here's some room. Look at this. Jesus. <laughs> That's so much power. <laughs> Sorry I just did that, but trust me, it was safer that way. Uh, and I had visibility. You need to be a professional. You cannot have this safely unless you are a professional. I mean, I, I feel like this car could, could
could like win an IMSA Tudor race, like on on power alone. I mean, this thing has like 200 horsepower more than the C5R Corvettes. It's crazy. So the the gearbox is very conditional. If you're going straight, if you're at full throttle, if you're near redline, sure. It shifts quick. If you're anywhere else or under any other conditions, it shifts awful. Um, and the downshifts are also awful. Oh, that downshift. Princess Leia has just killed Jabba the Hutt. And the fact that it's loud makes it worse because you're really broadcasting what a terrible gearbox it is. It's like seeing a Silverado with a really loud exhaust and an automatic. Ugh. Oh my god. That was uh, 13 miles an hour. they charge for this power kit but let's just say if it's less than 20 grand it's an unbelievable value because the, the performance is so shocking um, and and the aero wagon is so cool like it doesn't really add any practicality but it makes the car look really neat and let's face it like there's a lot of people out there that love Corvettes and a lot of people out there that love Corvettes and choose to drive a Corvette even though they could afford a much more expensive car. They've chosen that Z06 over a Porsche or a Ferrari or whatever. And so if you want to be the king of your Corvette club, you want to be the king of Carlisle, you want to be the king of Hershey, Aero Wagon. Wow. Callaway hasn't messed with the suspension in this car, which I think is, is good. The magnetic ride uh, with the five modes is, is excellent still. A little stiff in track mode. Okay, we're in civilization now, and now I gotta behave myself. It's a little stiff in track mode, but sport is really nice. Um, my advice uh, is, if you think you can handle it, ask yourself again if you can handle it. Um, it it's really, really crazy. It's really, really scary. It's, this is one of the scariest cars I've driven in, in a while. Um, it's effective, um, but I would say, your only excuse for buying this automatic is if you have one leg. And even then, only maybe. And I'm not crapping on all automatics. I have defended automatics in McLarens, Mercedes, Lexuses, Ferraris. I'm not anti-auto. I'm anti this auto because it stinks. But that being said, this car's nuts. Aero wagon's cool. The power is crazy. It will scare the crap out of you every time you get in it. And so thank you to Callaway for uh, for letting me have a go in this thing. It's pretty crazy. And I've got Pete Callaway coming on the podcast to talk about the history of the company and about this car. So uh, check that one out. And uh, check out my wheel well to see what the deal is with my new SL R129. And um, have a good day. I know I'm going to. Going back up the hill.